All right, well, today is a sad day, Fishaholics. It is gonna be the final day of the 2020 season here in Montauk, and uh, I'm packing up my truck, cleaning out my apartment right now, and loading up the boat, and uh, I'm gonna be heading to Jersey tonight to visit the fam for a little while, and, you know, spend Thanksgiving. And uh, a couple days ago, we got out in the rig and uh, got on a pretty decent bite, which I'm gonna sh show you guys uh, in, a, in a second. But uh, things really didn't go as planned, but that's the beauty of fishing. And before we start today's video, I just wanted to actually uh, announce uh, another giveaway that I'm doing. If you didn't enter the last giveaway with that wooden needle fish, go uh, check that video out. I'll put the link here on the screen and uh, you can enter to win that. And uh, this right here is the Taken Line Portable Live Well, which uh, was sent over me to the guy from the guys down in Florida over at Taken Line. And uh, it's pretty sweet. Comes with three rod holders, two aerators, a nifty little cup holder, and as well as a knife and plier holder and hook holder. And uh, it has a really cool little handle here, which uh, I think would make it nice and convenient for carrying uh, your live bait wherever you're going, whether it's on the beach or if you're just trying to load it up on the kayak, the paddle board, or a small boat. And uh, yeah, if you want to have a chance at winning this live well, uh, just follow Taken Line on Instagram, which is down in the description. Follow myself on Instagram, subscribe to my channel, and like this video and comment below, and I will randomly select one commenter for me to mail this uh, live well out to. And maybe I'll even throw in a fishaholic cat. <laughs> Tis the season. Um, but uh, yeah, you heard the rules. I'll put also more information down in the description. You can also check out uh, Taken Line Live Wells um, through their link in the description as well. But uh, anyway, enough blabbing on. You guys are here to watch some fishy action. So here's the catch from a couple days ago. Heading out in the rig through Montauk Inlet right now, and uh, we're gonna go out on a little, little solo mission uh, for just, uh, I guess, some sea bass and maybe some striped bass if they're still swimming around and feeding. But uh, Thanksgiving is like five days away, and I promised the fam that I'd be bringing home some fresh fish for dinner. So uh, that's like our goal is to see if we can get out here, catch a sea bass limit, jigging on artificials. And uh, it's finally like a gorgeous day out here, low winds, and it's gonna be like this for uh, like the morning hours, and it's about like 7.30, 8 o'clock right now. So we'll probably fish like into the afternoon until it gets a little snarky and then head in, and uh, I guess hope we can put some fish on the deck. To our first spot here. Let's just clip this little wrap a little off and I'm gonna try throwing on this fishaholic in back shad and we're gonna start just jigging real close to the bottom figure out which way we're gonna drift. I think we're kind of in the middle of you know the change of tides or at least like one tide is starting and then this tide out here is starting to wane and uh, yeah if we Get any bites on this first drift, we'll learn something, figure out where some fish are. If not, then we might have to make another move like out a little bit further. I don't even know if there's gonna be any sea bass in shallow anymore. Water temp is 54 degrees on the surface. Down to the bottom is probably quite a bit chillier. And typically I think like closer to the winter, a lot of these big black sea bass start pushing a little bit further offshore in a deeper water but who knows we might be able to find some nice tankers still in shallow all right been here for about five minutes or so we're uh drifting like slightly out with the tides there's still a little bit outgoing water out here and 
uh, I think we're gonna go out just a little bit further into some deeper water, like probably like 60, 70 feet. Looks like we got some good bottom here, so we're gonna take a quick drop, see if anybody's home. Hopefully more so than our first spot. Looks really good here. Gotta hope that sea bass also will still hit the artificials. Usually throughout the main, like bulk of the warmer weather season. Oh, there was a bite. You can get them to hit artificials and we just had a bite, so that's a good sign. Little guys are hitting it on the drop. Ooh, bunch of marks down there. It's definitely some fish down there. Like a lot of them. So our limit for today could be seven sea bass at 15 inches if we can catch them all. There's one. Nailed it on the drop. What do we got? Oh, it's actually a little baby striper. Not a sea bass. A little chunker though. Hey buddy. Well, if they're here, and there must be some bait down there and there's a good chance uh, there's some nice big sea bass. Like many times do I come out here and I'll catch uh, you know, really nice sea bass under feeding stripers. Oh, there's another one. Fish on. That didn't take long. Really tiny. Kind of like what we were catching in the surf uh, a couple of days ago. Wow, look at all those marks down there. That is uh, looking pretty good. Probably gonna drop right down, get another fish right away. These are all stripers, I guess. But again, like, there's a good chance there could be some tank or sea bass right below. Just gotta get down near the bottom, probably. Wow, we got stacks down there right now. Absolute stacks. We are gonna get a fish right here. Any second now. There he is. On the drop. But he's so tiny. Whoa. This feels like a little bit nicer something. Oh yeah. Unless it's like a hefty bluefish or something. Oh, please be a sea bass. It's actually starting to feel like a sea bass now. Unless we snagged one of those little stripers. Yeah, it's something foul hooked. It's coming up like spinning. Oh, yep, a belly hooked striper. How? How does this happen? Especially with like a single swim bait hook. What are you thinking, bud? <laughs> Probably the biggest one of today too and we snagged him like he could easily fit it in his mouth he must have just tried to go for it when i dropped it down and then pulled it up and he got caught all right well let's try and make a slight move and really see if we can dial in on where some sea bass are Give it a try right here. Got some good looking bottom. We're seeing some nice looking sea bass ish type marks right above the bottom. Hopefully, it's not more stripers, but I mean, I guess it's better than catching nothing, but definitely hoping we can find a little concentration of those black sea bass.
Oh. Woo. Fish crushed it on the way up. Most likely a striper. Yep. Another larger size one. Whoa, he's got some shoulders to him. Pretty cool, there's still quite a few stripers out here. Not bad at all right there. Not bad for a mid-November schoolie. All right, well, that was pretty sweet. We got that one to crack it on the retrieve. And uh, that just shows you how many stripers are still around out here in Montauk waters. We're not even really in like our main rip spots I'm, like way outside here on just some rocky bottom. And we're gonna keep bouncing around. So we'll be here for like another few minutes. If we don't get a sea bass, we'll, you know, make a move again. You know, they're gonna be concentrated and it shouldn't take long if they're hungry once we're down there, you know, to just jiggle this in front of them and they're gonna come up and nail it just as quick as these stripers are eating it. good now whoa what do we got here probably a bluefish or something yeah i'm thinking bluefish or maybe it's a keeper striper who knows <laughs> doesn't have the weight to it though oh, another striper larger schoolie bad one right there look at that got him right under the chin nice 26 incher all right well pretty sweet we caught two of the larger size schoolies today in that last spot in like less than five minutes and one on the retrieve one just like pulsating it right there on the bottom because, uh, you know, I was thinking, you know, if there's any sea bass down there, you know, it shouldn't take too long really with this bait uh, to just pulsate it or jig it very slightly along the bottom. If there's a concentration of sea bass there, they're gonna see it. And if they're hungry, they're gonna eat it. Um, so that's why I wanna really stay on the move. And black sea bass are my favorite to eat. That's why I'm, I'm really being adamant about trying to uh, catch some of those and bring them home to the fam for dinner. But who knows, that last schoolie was 26 inches. We might get one like 28 inches. Might have to throw him in the box too, because I don't wanna, go home empty-handed want to bring something back so my family still uh loves me or at least so they're excited to see me a little more you know <laughs> but uh yeah let's keep moving uh hope we find that concentration of sea bass that we're looking for all right let's give it a shot right here some marks right down there
Got some weight to him. Probably another decent sized striper. That was on the cast and then I was just slowly working it right along the bottom too. He's not foul hooked, it might be. Pretty close to a keeper. Feeling pretty good. good weight to him. Woo! Those runs like that never get old. Oh yeah, that might be close to a keeper size fish. baby come on back didn't bring the net today forgot it but we'll, we'll try and do like a little Ike and Ellie land <laughs> Whoa. there we go not a bad striper right there Measure them real quick. Cold fish, real cold fish. Twenty seven inch fish right there. Last like 45 minutes or so after our last fish, we've been bouncing around and uh, really struggling to find any bites, um, even just from stripers. But we're gonna just go like in that direction and uh, hit possibly like one more rip, a spot called the Pollock Rip, and um, you know kind of just keep doing what we're doing because it was working. I, I you know I think if we just get right on top of the right spot. Um, with some fish, I think we'll definitely catch a few more before calling it a day. This wind is already starting to pick up. It's a little after 12, around like 1, 2 p.m. It's really going to start cranking. So don't want to be out here for that, that's for sure. All right, so you can kind of see the rip right off the bow there. We're going to start drifting towards it. And uh, that's like where a little high spot is, all this water is flooding in and it's gonna hit that spot and it's getting kind of pushed up. And uh, yeah, the water is a little murky here, but hopefully that doesn't matter. Uh, hopefully there will be some fish in front of this rip or behind it. We shall see. There's something. Fish on, finally. Been a long time since we had a bite, or it feels like it's been a long time. Oh, it's a little diaper striper. Crushed it on the drop. All right, well, found another little concentration of stripers. I'm kind of giving up on the sea bass because we haven't had uh, a single one so far today. And, uh, you know, real, realistically, I think if, you know, we had another angler in the boat with me or a buddy, I, I probably would have went further offshore to like some deeper structure, deep and, uh, I think we would have a better shot at some sea bass. So we got a little more 
way to him. Yeah, a little bigger. Just gotta find one that's like 28 inches. At least, you know, catching a schoolie that size for, on this spot tells me that there's hope. You know, if we were catching all like 15 inches, I'd be like a little worried. Sitting right on the end of this piece here. Whoa, good hit. Oh yeah. Please don't be snagged. This fish has some good weight to it. Oh yeah. Whew. Definitely might be the bite that we've been looking for. He's not pulling any drag, but he's Feels pretty heavy. Can't see him yet. What do we got? Ah, oh, dang, man, another snagged little guy. That might have to be it. All right, well, all in all, pretty decent day out here. Caught a ton of fish. Didn't catch our targeted species that I wanted to take home for the table, but uh, at least the striper is, uh, we're out here in full force. And um, you know, the biggest one today is like 27 inches, just one more inch bigger. And we could have brought that one home to the fam for Thanksgiving. Today is actually the 21st of November. So it's only uh, four days away. And uh, maybe uh, in the next couple of days, I'll be able to either take the kayak out, hit the surf, or possibly take the boat out, maybe back in Jersey, because that's where I'm heading for Thanksgiving, and uh, still get some fish for the table. But uh, yeah, we're gonna start up the engine, and uh, oh yeah, before I forget, uh, sorry for that beeping noise, uh, the setup I was using today was just a seven foot six medium power fast action spinning rod with my 4000 Stratic, and I was using a one and a half ounce Fishaholic SNS jig head with a amber over white and silver flake fishaholic fin back shad and I believe this is 30 or 40 pound fluoro and the main line on this setup is about 10 pound braid so real light stuff made it super fun and we were fishing in depths of probably like 30 to 60 feet of water and I would say it was definitely critical having like extremely light braid like this because then I could feel exactly every single time this little swim bait was a touch in the bottom and that's really where you want to be unless of course you're marking fish like higher in the water column then you can you know just kind of uh, guesstimate where um, those, those fish are and hope, you know obviously once you go through them and if they're feeding you'll start getting bites and you'll kind of find out where the sweet spot is and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit that like button subscribe to keep up to date and like always live to fish fish to live have a happy Thanksgiving